Yeah, I figured after watching Texas a and today, there's no way you're going to sit out. How about them boys? Yeah, no. Tried to emulate their energy today. How did it feel to be out there? Alex. Say it again. How did it feel to be out there? Um, felt great. You know, I'm excited to just play basketball again. Uh, caught myself just walking onto the court for pregame warm up, you know, just kind of smiling, just excited to be out there. Um, you know, when the game started, I was standing up for random plays that probably didn't need to be cheered for. I was just excited to be back playing basketball. Alex, you took a couple of falls on mm -hmm. the court tonight. You always do, but coming back after 22 games off, you know, how did you feel when you were in those moments where you have to brace yourself? Felt pretty good. Um, I think there's only one time where it was a little sore after, and it was right before I shot those free throws in the second half. But I mean, stepped up, made the free throws, so it wasn't that bad. Um, overall, I thought thought it held up pretty well. How did you think the team played defensively as all? Well? Thought we were pretty good. Um, I thought that we had a little bit. You know, there were some lapses where I thought we gave up some easy buckets, just uh, a couple of miscommunications. But I mean, at the end of the day, you give up 91 points in the NBA. You're, you're you can be happy with that performance. It was kind of the approach and then the night on Garland, obviously. Io and you helped force him into a tough shooting night, but what was just kind of the strategy entering the night? Yeah, I thought Io did a much better job than I did. We we tried to put me on in the second half. I got a little fatigued, I won't lie to you. Um, my feet were a little bit in mud, but <clears throat> Io in that first half is doing a good job of making everything tough, kind of shutting off his water. I think he was two for 10 or two for 12 at halftime. Um, but he's he's a great player. You don't hold those guys down for you know the, the whole game. I think he ended up having what do you have? He had twenty five and seven rebounds, seven assists. I think it's NBA. He's going to get his eventually. But uh, we did a good job of just making it tough for him. You know, trying to make it tough, trying to show bodies. Uh, but but he's a good player. He made some tough shots. To have uh, you Io when Lonzo comes back, like that kind of three dudes who guard people on the perimeter like that. If you thought ahead to just like how valuable or kind of what you guys potential is defensively to have yeah I mean I think we saw we saw flashes of it earlier in the year um and I think you know Iowa's just done a great great job of improving and learning uh you know that's been the biggest thing for him that I think has been valuable for us as a team is him getting this experience to to run the show to guard the best players on the other team um seeing one first time second time now we're getting you know third and fourth time of seeing guys he's starting to pick up on different clues you know starting to play less with his hands and and you know, you saw tonight he drew offensive foul one time, got a block. Uh, you know, his his range and versatility on defense is, is really big for us. So for me, just trying to get back in there and, and do what I do, you know, disrupt stuff. And, and when you put it all together, like you said, I think we can be pretty dangerous. Devontae started the game with the headband on, had, mm -hmm. had the number six jersey. Was there like a little team-wide kind of game plan to come in and kind of welcome you back? Kind of Caruso 19. Yeah, I mean, we have we have great chemistry. You know, I think everybody on the team is pulling for for – whoever it is at the time that, you know, kind of needs it. And tonight it was me. Um, you know, I think that's just a, a product of how much I pour into my teammates and they pour into me, you know, um, when, when you have that kind of unselfishness and, and selflessness on the team, uh, it goes a long way. You know, it, it picks you up in, in tough moments in the game, you know, 82 game season, you need a little bit of, you know, a little carrot in front of you every now and then to kind of get the energy up, get the, get the motor going. Alex, uh, Billy brought up that, that late timeout where it was clear you were a little hot, upset. I don't know, who, I don't know what phrase you want to use that you got taken out. Yeah, tired. <laughs> but but it seemed like you guys were having a little discussion there. What was that? What was that exchange like? Yeah, he he was trying to give me a breather because I think I had fouled on like two possessions in a row. And like I said, I was my feet were were getting a little heavy just when you first came back, and I played how many minutes did I play? Twenty nine minutes, you know, for six weeks off, come back and be able to play 29 minutes and then, you know, try to guard all-star guard. And then, you know, whatever that call was on the sidelines, hit or miss. Um, I think he was just trying to give me a break, which, you know, at the time I was competitive, right? The free throw I thought was going to be my break. Um, but, you know, there's, you know, I'm, I'm going to follow whatever he says. We, we talked about it and, and he told me what he was doing. So I said, okay, cool. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, he said, whenever you're ready, go back. And as soon as he did, I just stood up and walked to the yeah, yeah, it was.